All right, welcome again Sunday night um, to Wickerson Studios. I'm going to do a little brief introduction of probably the most simple Python node uh, possible uh, just to get us out of the function tool. I know it's been playing around with expressions within particular functions, um, particular nodes going on and working with the expressions or the function uh, evaluate nodes, which are an option to bring in uh, any types of uh, formulas you want to do or functions, uh, but probably best if you have any skill with C++ or Python or VBScript, uh, I'm going to choose Python. And this is a nice example of having a, uh, a uh, do I want to apply before closing? Yes. Um, basically, have a Python script going. You can double click on it as a node and take a look at what it does. It brings up a very simple script. And all it does is take out, uh, you know, that node could have easily been done by just having uh, the add node. I basically wrote a small script within it that uh, adds, or sorry, multiplication. Um, basically, it's that node uh, written into Python. And I think it's just to encourage you to start using Python and seeing how you can cut and paste other scripts and really blow up with what's on GitHub and, and what your mind can start to wrap around geometries. And I certainly am following some people that are teaching C uh, programming for Grasshopper, but Python is where I've done a little bit of research over the last year. So I think I, I should be able to import some maths and get going on some scripts that will bury everything within Python script editor. Uh, some people might like it that I do that. Some people might not. Depends if you're interested in coding. I just think it's going to be more and more important that people get behind their computers and start to find their own way of staying alive and staying active in the world, um, certainly sustaining themselves. Anyhow, here's my script. We're two minutes in. I basically moved to geometry. Uh, it's a bunch of lofted surfaces that have uh, been moved in a range uh, dependent on the steps of the two domains I've created. The range in the Python node is simply uh, taking an input x and y and outputting um, uh, a out as data and I'm taking that and putting it to the X, which I thought was interesting because you'll see it's just 11 uh, defined forms. Um, and then A is the uh, is the range that's coming out of this one. They're basically the same, so it's not a big issue. But you'll find it's pretty interesting what actually happens um, if I take a look at it. So we're moving through the ranges and the steps is, it actually forms a nice pattern of these points. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, instead of bringing this in, just having x and y be the same, uh, then you'd have something like that. It's very similar to grafting, but there's something strange with the multiplication tool as it's added that it builds the geometry and makes a really nice pattern like this. And in doing so, all I did was uh, f uh, interpolate those points in this direction, use a flip matrix here and interpolate the other ones, and then loft between the two of them to come up with this interesting pattern. And as soon as I saw that all on, within the same plane, I thought, well, let's just move it up and uh, have it at least relation to the amount of steps. So you can see that you can take anywhere between uh, that triangle lifting the second triangle, uh, which is pretty interesting if you take a look at the top view. Hmm. Uh, I haven't done this yet, but there you go. Basically have that um, being lifted uh, into that position. And then any steps you want in between it. Two, three, four, how many times you want to cut it. Makes a pretty interesting pattern if you see what happens geometrically. And this is getting into very simple basic script um, and then applying it to what you were doing. Uh, like I said, it could have been done in another way, but I really find playing with these inputs as uh, streams of uh, lists of lists and lists of data uh, pretty interesting to find out. I hope you find this one interesting. It's been four minutes. Uh, this is all I'm doing in the advanced maths and advanced trig. Uh, now we'll get into advanced coding tutorials. I want to show people that you can be extremely creative with this and with a little bit of aesthetic sensibilities you can generate some pretty awesome geometries uh, that uh, could be very creative in their own right thanks very much for watching